If you are looking for a detailed course on the fundamentals for portrait painting, this is for you. If you want to know how to get the right color on the right place and how to work with these colors now that it is on your canvas, I can help you with that. Hi, my name is Lucas Devitt. Since 2006, I've been teaching hundreds of people how to paint. I've developed a clear and logical approach to portrait painting in order to teach people like you the fundamental principles of oil painting techniques. And now I've created a course with 65 detailed step-by-step -step videos with over 13 hours of viewing time to explain and demonstrate this approach. I've used multiple camera angles so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and I explain everything I do so that everyone can understand why I'm doing what I do. So let me quickly give you an outline of this course. In my introduction, I explain what this course is all about. Then I take a look at the material and the equipment needed for this course. Next, I show you how I approach the sketch and how to use a proportional divider. Then I move on to color matching and I give an in-depth explanation of how it works, what colors I use and how I use these colors. Then I demonstrate the color matching principles by setting up my palette. Next, I explain the color placement fundamentals and then I demonstrate it. Now that the right color is on the right place, I move on to brush techniques, explaining and demonstrating how to connect the colors now that they are on my canvas. In this course, I focus on the most important elements of a portrait, which are the eyes, nose and mouth. After the first paint layer, I then explain the objectives of the final painting and how it differs from the first paint layer. I also look at how glazing works and then I focus on the detail of the eyes, the nose and the mouth. This course is definitely a must if you are starting with your oil painting journey. Let me help you avoid the pitfalls, enjoy the process and achieve success in portrait painting.